to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay and today we have a very different video but along the same lines a really great vibe. So as you can see I've got some faction packs, I've got some things for us to unveil and look at but today it's not going to be about Barbie, it's definitely going to be about our minis, right? So I, if you're like me, your Dollyverse has to have teenagers, it's got to have middle schoolers, it's got to have kindergartners and I like an articulated doll. So I wanted to show you some of the dolls that I use for a um, articulated body. And we're going to do some rebodying um, on some of our dolls. And we are going to open our fashion packs, see if some of the outfits, I mean, just sit back. We've got so much to absolutely talk about and do. Some of the articulated bodies that I'm going to talk about today, this one came from Five Below. It's called Zoe Summer Riding. And this particular doll comes on a bicycle. She is articulated, as you can see. She doesn't have walk. I'm just trying to make sure I show you her. Um, so I need Zoe's body, right? So I'm put Zoe here. I also utilize, there's another one. So she also comes in an African-American skin tone. Um, and she and this doll has uh, a skateboard. She's got like one of those boards. I don't know if that's a boogie board or what that is. Um, but yeah, so she comes with an articulated body as well. And when I take them out the box, I'll give you a, a little show. And then I also use um, sometimes my Barbie Extra Mini. So I want to show you two that I've already rebodied. And then I'm going to show you which ones I'm going to match these with. And then I'm also going to show you some accessories and things that you can find online for your Chelsea dolls. Okay, so my Extra Mini. This is um, the Wave 1 Extra Mini African American um, doll. And just to show you what they look like once I have rebodied them. On the Zoe doll, I used one of my Chelsea dolls, the one with the little Afro um, puff ponytail. And so now she has an articulated body, right? So she can move at the wrist, at the elbow, at the shoulder, at the knee. Um, and let me take the shoes off, not at the ankle, okay? And they can wear each other's clothes, right? So. Um, this particular doll, this is how the body looks on, on the Zoe doll for this one. So we're going to, you know, so this is this one. And then, well, she, of course, these, this doll's body are these two. And then for our extra mini, I'm going to show you one that was rebodied. And as you can see, I've used another. And this is how she looks on the extra mini. And of course, she doesn't have um, wrist articulation on the minis. Um, like those dolls do, but you get an articulated doll, right? So if you want to sit her down, her knees bend, her clothes are going to be super fashionable as well um, because she has uh, the body of the mini doll. Okay, so these are the ones where it goes on. So we want to absolutely think about rebodying. Um, these are our three that we're going to rebody, and these are the dolls. Let's sit these to the side that I'm going to use. So for our African-American Zoe, I'm going to rebody her on this doll. I don't know if you remember her. Um, it's been a couple of years. I think it was like Barbie and the Rockers set that came out when they reprised it. And um, this was one of the dolls that I absolutely always loved. So we're going to give her a made to move body using this doll tone, skin tone. I am going to use this beautiful redhead doll because I love red hair. Um, and we're going to rebody her on this Zoe doll. Okay, and then last but not least, um, this doll is a little darker tone, so we're going to use the ballerina doll. A couple of seasons ago she was, and um, I'm going to use her on our extra mini doll. We're going to, uh oh, look at what I just did. We're going to rebody all these cuties, okay, and show you what they look like now on their new articulated bodies. Then once we do that, we're also going to look at a couple of outfits that all of our dolls, because now we'll have all of our rebody dolls, that we can kind of look and see what um, are in these packs that I bought today. So who's going to get rebodied first? We've already got our two that have made the move bodies. And I always keep also like their shoes. I keep their clothes that they came on because we want to see like, 
who can wear what, right? So because we've got some new bodies, so we want to make sure everybody is intact and can wear everything. So with that being said, we're going to put our fashion stuff away. And we're going to get start, started with changing everyone around. So we're going to start with this doll here. Give me a second. Let's go ahead and get her out of the box. And I can show you what it looks like out of the box. Okay, so here we have the doll out of the box. And as you can see, her foot does fit inside this really cute little bicycle. Isn't that cute? And the, the wheels move on the bicycle. So you have, you know, you have play. Um, you definitely have play time. You know, I love the fact that this is accessible. And for $5, you guys, this really was a good, a really great um, buy. So here you have the articulated doll. She comes with a pair of pink shorts. The shorts are polka dot pink and white. She's got on a shirt um, with looks like little like triangles that have some color on it. Let me see if I can move my light so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, okay. So she comes with a helmet, I mean her bike helmet to make sure that she doesn't fall and hurt herself. Let me take it off. She also has um, pigtails. So she comes with two braids. Ah, why is this? Just because I'm trying to do this live, it wants to give me some trouble. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I get this off? Okay, hold on. And as soon as I <clears throat> stop the camera, it slides right off. So she's a really cute little doll. Even if you want to just keep her, you know, um, and grab some of these for yourself. I think some of them come um, on the bike. Some of them don't come on a bike. Um, so you, you can get different accessories. I think the bike is so super cool um, for your dolls to be able to play with. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and check the color. I think she's going to be a match. And let's see how she looks now with an articulated body. Okay, and voila, we now have, sorry, I messed up her hair trying to get everything done. Um, but now we have an articulated doll. Isn't she cute? And you know, most of the time our kids, when they're outside playing and, and having a good time on their bicycles, their hair gets messed up anyway. Um, so I want to see now if she can fit, because I took the clothes off of the other doll. And let's see if she can fit the shoes and our little Chelsea's oh and this is a whole outfit so it's not two separate you guys it's a whole outfit so let me just why we on air go ahead and see if I can get her ready hold on all right so listen you got a wardrobe coming you got a wardrobe coming she absolutely can fit the shoes and she absolutely can fit the little dress it's gonna be a little short you know she might want to put some shorts underneath this but she can fit it and it's really cute and the shoes fit as well. So I'm so glad that I'm able to pick up these little made to move. I think I'm probably gonna try to rebody a lot of my dolls um, to um, Chelsea dolls that can be a made to move body as well. Isn't this so cute? So this doll now has a bicycle. She's got an extra outfit. She's looking really, really good. Let's go to our next doll and get her out of the box so you can see what she comes with. I'm just gonna sit her back here because we're gonna get to her in a moment. Back to her in a moment. But just wanna keep all her stuff together. Oh, and it came with like a little brush. Two of you guys came with this little brush. Okay, so next up we have our second doll that we are going to rebody. And let me get her out of the box. Okay, so we've gotten this doll out of the box. And as you can see, she's got on some gray sweatpants. She's got on some um, white shoes, gray sweatpants, um, a little jacket that's like tied around her waist. So cute. She's got on the helmet as well because she comes with a skateboard. Um, as you can see, I wish it had like the pegs to put her feet in so that she really could have stood up on it, but it doesn't. And neither does the little board here. And I forget what this is called. Is it a boogie board? It's a skateboard. Still a skateboard maybe, but like the newer kind of skateboard they used to have. What I like that they did with these toys is that they absolutely gave us, um, and it actually turns, look at that. And the wheels actually move. You know, like this is really a cool idea. Um, I like functional 
things to use with our dolls. She also comes with two black pigtails um, braided back. Um, and she's going to be a body double for this doll. And as I'm looking at her skin tone, she's a really close match. She's probably not like a 100%, but I think it's super close. Close enough, right? All right, stay tuned. They're coming back. Okay, and now we are back with our made to move doll. Our articulated doll's not made to move. But isn't she cute? She's got a body. She's got a body. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. And I just kept her little um, headset on, but I'll take it off. Um, I thought it was cute because it matched the purple in her um, outfit. The outfit is still a onesie, except for the top that comes with it. And I'm going to put her over here with her new friend who has her new body. Now, let me show you something um, because I'm going to start putting the clothes and, and the shoes in containers as well. So because once I took her her head off the only thing I'm going to be able to keep from that doll is her little skirt and these shoes okay because these and I think a pair of pink boots are always warranted um with our Chelsea dolls but um that's the only thing I can keep from her because a lot of the member a lot of the dolls were, were not coming with um clothing they were coming with you know painted on bodies and just a skirt okay so here we have so, other than that, we're going to keep her other accessories and things like that. And let's go ahead and go to our very last doll. Okay. So, our very last doll is our extra mini. And this is the doll that we're going to rebody her with. We also have this um, doll. So, let me take her out of the box and let's talk about her. Okay, so here we have our um, mini, um, our Barbie extra mini, and she's the one that we're going to be rebodying. We're going to use her body, and we're going to use it for this doll here, and we also want to see and make sure, you know, she's got, oh, I'm so glad. See, the accessories that you get with doing a rebody, you know, for your dolls can be absolutely amazing. So I cannot wait to see how these two now look once we switch their bodies. So hold on one second and we'll be right back. Okay, so I have switched her head out and excuse her little hair because honestly speaking, I had a time getting her head off. Um, the pegs on the Chelsea dolls are really big when you're taking them off, right? And the other dolls' pegs are not as big. So um, this is now, she has a articulated body um, I kept her little tutu because you never know what you want to have in your arsenal as far as doll clothes. And then she's got these little shoes. One thing I did, I kept the other doll's head too because I, I, you know, I rebody and I could find something and make her a teenager because she's got more of a teenager like face. But I wanted to see if her shoes, because remember these dolls, we know that the um, five and below dolls can fit the shoes of Chelsea, but these have a little smaller foot. So I wanted to see if they can go in and they can. Okay. So it's going to be a bigger, a little bigger fit. You know, it's a little loose on her, but it works. Okay. So you definitely would be able to, um, utilize your dolls, um, using each other's outfits. So I, that just lets me know that these dolls are a great switch to, um, use for your doll and then we have a doll stand too because the extra mini so you've got a couple of things so now we know we have one two three four five articulated dolls that we've just made looks amazing let's see I, and when I did this I was like okay I'm gonna make these smaller dolls because they're gonna be you know all in the same class you know elementary school um, but I also wanted to see and give them more options as far as clothing and things that they can put on and wear. Now, I myself have a whole container, okay, of Chelsea dolls. So, I will definitely keep going back over to five below because I kind of do like the articulation here. Um, but I get better, I can also get other skin tones when I utilize these dolls, okay. So, some of them I keep, some of them I don't, you know, I want to do trade-off for their bodies, for my different dolls. I, I feel like these dolls look like kids right don't they they look like little toddlers not toddlers but you know like 
you know, first, second grade. Um, and if you're going for that with your dolls or you want these to be your dolls' kids, they look more appropriate age-wise than um, here's one that I have. This. She looks real grown, don't she? One of my favorites, girl. It's my extra fly. Don't don't get it. Don't sleep on her. But I also know that I wouldn't say that she's in second grade looking like that. Okay. So now we've got the dolls. We've got some fashions. We're going to definitely put some stuff away. Um, but let's start looking at what I ordered off of Amazon as far as clothes. Okay. So I, I forgot. And as I was getting stuff together, um, I completely forgot that today when I was in TJ Maxx, I found the Chelsea doll and she's $2. Um, and I actually have one like her already, but I figured I wanted twins. You know, if I wanted to do a household that had twin dolls. Um, and I also wanted to see if a regular, like some people don't want to rebody their Chelsea dolls, right? And you still want to look for clothing because now the dolls are coming with, you know, clothing um, that's removable. So with that said, let's see. I wanted to also, you know, utilize, and she's so cute. Look at her. Gorgeous. Um, so I wanted to see how the clothes fit, not only on our articulated dolls, but also on our regular Chelsea dolls as well. Okay, so we're going to have one of those in the mix. Okay, went on Amazon. I think I paid $10 for this set. Um, and this is by MM. Um, if you want to know, um, you know, send me, ask me in the comments because I don't know it right offhand. But let's open it up. And these are supposed to fit our Chelsea dolls, right? I think girl and boy, because I do have boys and I have girls. So it's always a mess trying to open stuff on air. Oh, we got accessories and stuff in here, y'all. Okay, let's let's get let's look at what we got. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so remember that this came off of Amazon and this is let me get my trusty dusty table because it's, it's so much easier for me to show you stuff when i can sit here um for the accessory wise first of all we have a travel bag and i like it because look at that the travel bag moves up and down the rollers do not move on this but the travel bag does and it actually opens okay so i think that's absolutely awesome uh-oh Closing the bag is the issue. So we got a travel bag. Uh-oh. We've got a nice little travel bag with the operating or working. It's supposed to be working, right? We'll figure that out. Suitcase. Okay. Next thing we have, I see, is a little hat. It's a little plastic hat. I also see a little headband, which just reminds me like of the Barbie headbands. Let me know what you think. It also came with a little purse. Hmm, this purse looks like, like a Barbie size purse, not necessarily a doll, but okay. We've got a pink pair of sunglasses. Now I'm only doing the accessories first, guys. I have a little perfume bottle. It looks like a lotion bottle. So it looks like this is like more beach, a beach set to me. And um, I'm not sure what type of bottle this is, but it could be perfume, it could be lotion, not too sure. You have a necklace, a yellow necklace. We have a little small brush. Um, and then we have in this plastic bag, let's open this up. Okay, so this looks like a little pretend um, laptop here. Now, I'm I'm not sure what... Oh, okay, wait. You open this. Okay. Okay, so you've got like a little pretend laptop and you have a little pretend... I oh, that's cute. Um, like iPad. I think this is really cute. That's, that's a really nice accessory to come with it. Then in a different plastic bag, gave you a lot of accessories, right? We have, um, and just 
the quality is not like the best, right? But I mean, we only paid $9 for all of this. So don't be in the comments talking about, I ain't like that. Um, so this looks like a little plastic clock. It gave you a, some headsets. It gave me a little pretend pillow rest for like on the plane. Thought that's cute. Um, I have a pretend camera. We have like, oh, this is a big one too, like a cup, like a drink with a little pretend straw. I like the fact that it has a handle. You've got a purple visor, a pair of blue shades, and then we have a little wristlet, purple wristlet. Okay, so you've got a bag full of accessories here. Um, oh wait, something else. You also have a cell phone. Okay, little cell phone for the hand. Uh, doesn't have a little piece for you to um, have your doll hold it, which you know I hate when they do that because it doesn't allow me to hold. Now, what else came? So the first dress is a pink top with a dog face on the front it's got like beach balloons donuts all type of stuff around this is like a little dress we'll try this on in a second then it came with a blue dress with the sunshine on it okay little beach sand castle really cute little dress then you get a third dress which looks more with the man with the mermaid on it like some little mermaid scales on it it's very cute you got three dresses here and then it came with this bathing suit and it has a flamingo on the front blue with pink and yellow stripes a second bathing suit with a fish pink and blue and a third bathing suit okay and this one is pink and yellow I don't know if that's a clam or what that is on the front of it but it's really cute let's get our dolls and have them model and see how this looks okay so here is our five below doll um, and she's a little taller doll so I think the fit kind of fits okay for her um, the dress velcros it's a big it's kind of big but it, it'll work it works um, not the best you know as far as quality but for just something to change your dolls in and out of I think it's kind of cute um, and the length is really good on, on this um, Five Below doll. So I just kept her shoes on with this. Um, so that's this one. Now, when we look at our next doll, which is our um, Barbie Extra Small doll, as you can see, it's, it's a little bigger fit on her as well. Not too bad, though. I mean... It's an okay dress, but it is very long on her and kind of big and bulky, I think. But it does fit the doll. I mean, I couldn't find any shoes and her boots didn't match it, so I just kept her shoes off. And then on our regular um, uh, Chelsea doll that we did not um, give a articulated body to, this is how the fit fits on her. Okay, kept her shoes on. It fits. I think it. the one it fits the biggest on to me is the um barbie extra body it's a little bit bigger but all three dolls you know can absolutely wear it um the one thing i would say is i would have liked instead of all the accessories they gave us some shoes for the dolls um because if you don't have shoes for them then it just doesn't put the outfit together um as well either okay let's see how they look in those bathing suits okay and i think i like the the bathing suit fits much better to me okay so this is our um, five below articulated doll body and the bathing suit I didn't you know the little velcro always give me a problem but yes it fits and looks really cute on her so if you're looking for some bathing suits I'm, I'm this company is giving me a yes on that um, here is our um, mini extra looks good on her as well little cute bathing suit on the doll fits really cute and if you're not going to articulate your doll and you want it to just use it on your regular Chelsea dolls it absolutely works as well so I'm very very happy um, I'm going to give this 
set of seven. Um, it doesn't come with shoes. Some of the things I think that are in the um, accessories, they're okay, but um, we could have kind of used without. Um, the dresses were, you know, they completely open, so you don't have to worry about trying to push them in, but some of them are cute. I mean, I'm not complaining because it's only $10, right? And you, you get what you pay for because I do have some Chelsea outfits down here, um, and I'm quite sure, you know, I remember paying like four or five dollars for each little outfit so I'm not complaining about it at all that's number one and number two but um, and I have to find them because I definitely want to you know show them with the other dolls and um, when I went to the Dollar Tree like I had found some some of these outfits we'll we'll look at all of this like on a different day because I'm trying to stay focused and sometimes I'm not so with this um, I'm definitely gonna say a seven out of ten and moving forward, what I would say is um, I wish that they would have added shoes instead of the accessories. And, you know, other than that, for $10, I think we got, you know, a decent, um, a decent uh, collection for the dolls. I think I was um, mostly impressed with the bag, but then it, cu it couldn't fasten back, you guys. So it's like, you know, you got excited for the fact that it could it has an up and down you know but then it doesn't really work so but we've got accessories and we can always use accessories with our other dolls so I'm kind of glad it kind of gave us a couple things for our other dolls um, and now let's look at our next fashion pack so we can kind of unpack that okay so we're back and we now have um, I believe this both of these came from Musiana um, and these are two separate fashion packs that I got off of Amazon so let's go ahead and open up the first one and kind of see what we got inside of this. I don't know why I'm just going to cut it. I do the most sometimes. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay, let's see what we have in here. <gasps> These came with shoes. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, it came with shoes, you guys. Okay, so the first thing I see as I pull everything out is a pair of pink shoes. So, you know, I'm always like, oh, we need shoes for our dolls. You gotta have shoes for your dolls, right? So you've got a pair of pink like sneakers, and then you have a pair of white sneakers. Same kind, but it's just the fact that they gave us, you know, shoes makes me feel good. Um, and then the next thing it looks like these are all going to be clothes. So this one is a purple dress with a rainbow um, going across the front of the top. Okay. Then you have what looks to be like a striped dress. This is a dress. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's a dress. It might be like off the shoulder. I'm not too sure. Okay. Then we have. Oh, this is cute. And it's like a little. I guess it's supposed to be like jean at the bottom, but it's not. It's got a little acre on the front, and it says um, HI Parenting um, on that. I don't know what that means, but okay. So we've got three dresses there. We have another dress that is light blue at the bottom, and we have like a little printed um, palm tree, like light blue at the top. It's cute. Um, then we also have... This little dress, I don't know what this, it's got a lot going on a little bit. Like chocolate and pink, I want to say with some yellow at the bottom. You've got three um, hearts at the top of it. Then we have a pink and black, like I've seen this before, but in a, in a bigger doll. I've seen these before, probably the same company. So you've got, you know, little dressy, pink, black and white, and then it says fashion on the front and a heart. Then we also have this dress, which is um, blue. You've got your stripes at the top of it, okay? Then it came with another dress. They give us a lot of dresses, right? With a little dog on the front. It says Giant Peach, James and the Giant Peach at the top, and it's a dog with a bone. I don't know the reference at all for that one. Then we have another dress that has sunshines on it. It says, just be you. Very cute. That's a cute one. 
and then we have another dress okay because these are all cut the same I'm just going to show three of the dresses um, just a couple of the outfits on the doll just for the sake of time um, because I don't want it to get away with us and these are all like cut the same look the same so let's just show a couple of them on the dolls and we'll move to the second pack the third pack actually okay so here we have our Barbie extra mini made to move body and it's really cute the sneakers match I mean they match but they fit um, and um, the dress fits her as well okay so I think on I would definitely say that on our um, Barbie extra mini articulated body that these dresses will be able to fit and so would the shoes okay let's okay, look at so our next now doll. we have the doll that is our five below body doll and as you can see she does fit the dress she also fits the shoes so you know it, it does work it's a little big you know I probably wouldn't purchase any more like I think I would probably just go with my Chelsea doll clothes that I do have um, but just for some alternative um, looks this is a good one so this is our remember this is our five below body now lastly um, here is our regular Chelsea doll without the articulated body and I put her in the purple dress I slid her on some little blue shoes and she absolutely can wear it okay so these these are some cute little clothing items for your Chelsea dolls all right so that's our second pack and I'm going to give this pack a 9 out of 10 because it did have some shoes in it it didn't have a lot of accessories it got right to the point of what we were looking for and we now have this last um, doll set so let me clean off my table a little bit and let's get into it okay so here is our last pack for the night okay for our Chelsea doll clothing I hope you all are enjoying the content that I'm bringing you this evening um, it's a lot of work <laughs> but okay so we got some stuff in here and I do see some shoes and it looks like some duplicates okay so but I'm I see some I see some things so first of all we've got our pink pair of shoes again we've got those same pair of sneakers um, and then we have also the white hold on I hope it's not just one white shoe in here because I don't oh here it is okay so we have another white pair of shoes this also came with a little plastic book bag okay then you have um, this which looks like some little accessories that looks like they, you know, kind of threw together in here. Um, yeah, so it's like a little pretend, they, they didn't even put stickers on it. <laughs> like a little pretend laptop, a projector, um, you know, some tools, like if you were a, a protractor, a little pair of scissors, um, I'm not sure what that is a notebook so like some school supplies is what this one is kind of giving me school supply vibes um and then in this set we are going to have some pants oh, okay so we've got a black pair of pants this red pair of corduroy pants it looks like we have um a tropical pair of pants and then we have um it looks oh poorly no, i, I want to see how these gonna fit but these um, blue jean like looking shorts um, and then it came with four shirts so you've got this shirt you also have a shirt with a bear on it you also have a pink and um, black striped shirt that says happy with a faux collar around it and then you also have a um, shirt with some color markings and some little flip flaps then it also comes with this um, dress with the bear on the front that's blue and it's the exact same dress that we had in the last pack okay so I'm interested to see how these pants and shirts look so let's get right into it we're gonna just um, model a couple of things on the dolls and then we'll talk about it okay here's our first one and this is our um, 
extra mini body and it can fit the the pant the shorts are really big on her waist you know they have a little elastic but they're they're big but the luckily the shirt really um covers it and it kind of brings it down so um i thought this was a cute outfit and i just paired it with some of her little boots um but i thought that this was kind of cute and definitely she could fit it okay our next doll um here's this outfit so she absolutely can fit the pants the shorts i just put it with this shirt okay but she can fit it Don't laugh at the pigtails, y'all. They, they, I hate it, but I gotta redo her hair. And when I was rebodying her, I had to be a little aggressive. And our regular Chelsea body, this doll, I thought it was pretty cute. So the dolls can actually wear these outfits. They are really cute, so all doll bodies can wear them. Um, I absolutely love it. Not going to try the dresses on because they're the same dresses that we tried on in the other set. So, but I wanted to let you guys see where the short sets are. So I really like these a lot better than the dresses. Um, so the next time I start looking for Chelsea clothes, I think I'm going to try to look for tops and shirts. And the bathing suits, remember the bathing suits were a great choice as well. Well, this was a lot, okay? <laughs> but I want to thank you guys for hanging in there. We rebodied some dolls. We made sure some of our dolls um, are now articulated um, that are not. We looked at fashion clothes to kind of see who can wear what. We found out, you know, who can wear whose clothes um, and how the dolls look. And I just want to also show you that the Chelsea doll and the Five Below doll are pretty much the same height. But if you're looking for a doll with a smaller, you know, that's shorter, this is going to be your minis. Because see how she's a little bit shorter? So you, you get a, a older doll, I think, when you use these bodies and you might get like a little younger girl um, with these as well and you can try to see on the minis if the other doll heads work as well you know how they have the toddlers so I don't know if you want to make her a toddler you possibly can maybe I'll in one of my videos do that so we can see how that looks um, and remember that we also rebodied a couple of our other dolls today in this video so I'm excited I'm super happy that we have um now some articulated dolls that can go into our doll families um and they have some fashions on themselves they can share i also have some chelsea outfits in my next haul um of fashion i'll you know uh try some of the chelsea clothes on our dolls but it's getting late and i've got to wrap it up thank you guys so much for hanging in with me tonight as we review um, our dolls, our Chelsea dolls, and as we made them articulate, I would just ask that you could leave me a positive comment. Let me know how you like the video, how you like the content, which one you like the most, um, any questions that you might have about how I rebodied or um, what skin tone matches um, worked, kind of showed you a little bit through there. Um, but also hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber because once I get to a thousand, we giving it away. We giving it away. So I want to make sure that I have tons of stuff to give away to you guys for being so loyal and for loving this channel. Thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. Good night.